Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your weekly general reading for the week of June 27, 2021. Thank you so much for being here. I want to say the word gratitude. I have a lot of gratitude for you. <laughs> so if you don't mind, please hit the like button. And don't forget, if the reading resonates... Whoa! Oh my goodness. If the reading resonates, don't forget to uh, subscribe and hit the bell notification so you know when I release a new video. Gemini, excuse me while I get the rest of the cards. <laughs> So, this is how they hit the floor. And, well, let's see here. I want to make all kinds of noises that the coins. I really, my speaking, you would think that Mercury was fully in retrograde lately. Wow. Gemini? I'm Gemini, too. I got it in my chart. And I have to tell you, I'm so excited right now. Ten of Cups. Woohoo! This is some week. Wow. Look at that. That is just very happy, content, emotional contentment right there. Now I'm looking at the picture above. The picture above them. It shows different generations at different points in their life. Look at that. How interesting. Look, with the child, alone, older, it's like all the generations, all like just complete fulfillment, the Four of Swords. Okay, so you're happy and you're, you're taking a rest, chilling out, maybe taking some time to meditate. Maybe that's what's causing the, uh, the contentment is because... You're actually taking time to rest, which us Geminis are not good at, are we? Not at all. Which, the Death card and the Six of Swords. <laughs> the Death card is the end of a cycle, could be dealing with a Scorpio. So you take this rest, you, you're completely emotionally fulfilled, you've been able to take a pause this coming week, and this changes things. Maybe this isn't something that's happened before. Either that or there's a Scorpio involved. And this Scorpio sets you on a new path, the Six of Swords. Either way, it's either you changing things in your life, doing things differently. Like say that you, you, know, you sleep in every day and you have no schedule and you don't get done what you want to get done. This is saying that ends. You worship yourself, and I want to say yourself because the death, it's you ending the cycle. So inevitably, when you look at this, it would make you death. And here's your, um, I'm going to say, don't laugh, your worth returning to you. The crown, the flowers, and I want to say gold, something. But it's all being given back to you. Like by gaining control of what you've lost control of, by taking a rest, you refocus and you're able to end those things, which leads you to be able to move on to calmer shores. Because I don't know about you, getting more rest and being more scheduled, I am definitely more productive and I'm happier and emotionally more well balanced. And I really feel that this is about, this really is about finding something that works for us to be more productive in all areas of our life. Because emotionally we're fine, but we still have to get rid of some habits that aren't serving us well, shall we say. What else does Gemini need to hear? Well, I'm definitely gonna take this card because it flipped over. These, there's just too much. So what card do we get? Page of Swords. The Page of Swords, wow. This could be, well, this is not, for me, this is definitely not anything to do with uh, trouble or the law. This to me is you, starting something new pages are young new energy new something the wind this is you know gemini's are known for our ability to speak and to talk to anybody and this to me is creating opportunity we are making things happen you know with our voice so the way to change is the way we speak to, I'm going to think, I think it's to speak to ourselves. That's what this is about. How do you speak to yourself, Gemini? 
do you go, I'm, I'm stupid, I'm this, I'm that, and all negative stuff? This is about, oh, wow. I bet you this is about self-talk. Six of rods. I'm telling you, this is about self-talk. Six of rods, yes. Yes, success. How do you talk to yourself, Gemini? How do you talk to yourself? Ace of swords. A win. A definite win. Possibly having to do with the way you speak. And I'm going to say right because we are about communication. Possibly having to do with heartbreak. So, success having to do with a win, possibly with writing, that has to deal with heartbreak. We're going to look into this heartbreak more, this Three of Swords, because that Three of Swords, when it comes to heartbreak, it doesn't have to be a lie, you know, cheating someone, a third-party situation. Could it be? Absolutely. But, now, interestingly enough, the Page of Swords could be spying on someone. So, you could be spying on someone and get lucky and find something out which you consider a win, but at the same time, it's also heartbreaking. So maybe you find out something about somebody that breaks your heart. Um, maybe you find out somebody who, you know, said that they, you know, were interested in you and they didn't want anybody else, but now you find out by, you know, stalking their social media or something that they have been seeing somebody else, that they were lying to you or something like that. That could be a possibility. Or it could be just that you, you know, are winning over the way you speak to yourself instead of tearing yourself down. Let's get some clarity on this Three of Swords. Three, oh, okay. So we're not getting anything yet. Clarify the Three of Swords, please. Why is the Three of Swords here? Okay, these cards don't have the answer. Okay, why is the Three of Swords here? We're going to go back to the Mythic Tarot. Why? Oops, my hands are not big enough to do that. Why are we getting the Three of Swords? The King of Swords. Possibly having to do with Air Sign. Possibly having to do with Libra. Now, if you have Libra in your chart, this could be, like I said, self-talk. Um, if this, now this would be, in my case, this could be me. Um, it could also do with another air sign, depending on who you are. Uh, or someone has air sign qualities, because the king of swords, he's analytical. He is, you know, higher on the ladder in his career. Um, he is not as high as the emperor, but he is higher, and he's generally older. So we're talking 40s, 50s, you know, you know going along that age range. Um, so this is where that Three of Swords comes in. So it could be self-talk. It could be uh, somebody else. Any more clarity for Gemini? Let's see here. Three of Pentacles. <laughs> you want to work on a team. I believe that this, this heartbreak, this is learning to work together. And this King of Swords may have to do with this heartbreak. The, the Three of Pentacles, I'm not sure if it's working with you or working with others. Maybe there's somebody else who is... Uh, tell us about the Three of Pentacles, because I have a sudden idea as to what the Three of Pentacles means. But I want confirmation before I open my mouth here. Okay, wow. You can have half the deck, Gemini. Asking about the Three of Pentacles. Yeah. Yeah. See, yeah. See, the Three of Pentacles is about what I... See this, this whole thing? About the change and ending a cycle? This is about walking away from something. The Five of Wands. The Five of Wands here... Look at that. Walking away from, I'm going to say, this... The dragon to me is like the equivalent of the monkey on your back. It's dealing with what's what's attacking you. And if you have bad self-talk, low self-esteem, that's what you're walking away from. It's not easy, and you may, because there are two people here, there may be somebody who's supporting you, Gemini, who's helping you on this task. Because 
you know, this is taking away your food. It's taking away your sustenance. You know, this is probably what was going to be their dinner. But here's this dragon, and he's taking it from them. So you're walking away from the dragon. There are options, and you're trying to figure out what option to choose. You know, if I do this, where do I go from here? You know, and it could be an earth sign that comes in, uh, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, that uh, helps you. Very methodical. They're slow, but they're there, you know, to come around to help you figure things out and support you. To your victory, Ace of Swords. This is that opportunity. This is the second Ace of Swords, isn't it? Yes. We've had the Ace of Swords twice. So here that opportunity comes again, possibly involving an Aquarius, for you to be the star. Look at that. Wow. Now, the interesting thing is, is that you do get all this attention. And look at all the dragonflies coming out of the box. And look at this angel with a rainbow. Now, you don't just get, now the interesting, oh, this is Pandora's box. Wow. So this win opens Pandora's box for you. So, yes, you get the dragonflies, but you get the spiders and the other things. So to me, although it opens up some problems for you, it also opens up solutions. And I think that's why we see spiders, flies, dragonflies, bees, caterpillars, butterflies, because this win, although you are afraid to make this move and not sure what to do, what you don't realize is that as much as it, it, it will create things that you have to face and fears, it will also provide you with the opportunities to handle all of those fears. Very interesting reading. I mean, these cards are giving me such in-depth, wonderful reads. I hope you enjoy it. And if you enjoyed this reading and the cards, please let me know in the box down below. It's just an incredible feeling here. I just, I really like it. Let's get you a spellcasting oracle card. Oh, I'm taking it. And what did I say? Could have a um, Libra involved. This could be justice. So maybe this is about a court case. Maybe you opened up a whole can of worms. Worms, I can't say it. And But things are going to work out fairly because justice about things about being fair and just and right. Your talent. You are being acknowledged. See, this is what I was talking about. The writing, the speaking. I really believe that you are afraid, but once you face this fear and you have support, you, you can do so much. And that's what this is saying. Show your talents. You will be acknowledged. And the, what you get back will be fair and just. So if you are doing right, you have nothing to worry about. So thank you so much for being here. Gemini, I am, this is my happy, this is a wonderful happy reading. Let's pray we all can claim this reading for this coming week. And um, I wish you the best.